mystery of the Mari Celeste, it may never be solved. Oxford went to Cambridge, onto the CAM for the InterVarsity punt relay race, a light-hearted sort of event, and they used feminine-type batons. Felicity Willis handing herself over for Cambridge, and Celia Blaze jumping the punt for Oxford. Entry is open to anyone who has entered the river unwillingly while fully clothed. It was all part of May Week celebrations, when everything's crazy. May Week takes place in June, anyway. By winning, Cambridge got their own back for the boat race, although some of the crew seem to have been sent down. The event's been held for seven years, but the boatman's comment is still much the same. Keeping afloat isn't at all difficult with this new type of life jacket. It features panels of a special fabric which allow air to circulate inside it. When wet, they seal up to become air and watertight, trapping the air inside. Made of plastic, these jackets represent a great step forward in life-saving. Yachtsman Uffa Fox was watching the demonstration. In this system, there's none of the bulk of cork or kapok, and what's more important, it doesn't call for any action by the wearer. An unconscious person would be just as safe. They're ideal for children and non-swimmers. If you don't tip the waiter and he goes off the deep end, he's safe with one of the special waistcoats under his jacket. If you drop a brick and forget to let go, you'll still come up smiling. The idea marks the way to a great advance in safety. From a new life-saving device to the old spritty barges, and there's still enough of them left to have their annual race. Sarah, built 57 years ago. Veronica, last year's winner in her class. And Serdar, a frequent winner in the past. Dreadnought at 52, the youngest barge competing. Memory, another of the Stasel class. And Westmoreland, nice names and beautiful ships, for so long a familiar sight in the Thames and along England's east coast. Fighting a losing battle for survival in this atomic age. They raced out to the estuary and back again, finishing at Gravesend. Here's Serdar sailing home, the winner of the champion bowsprit barges. Officially, this church.